What's going on, Vibes Babes? It's your girl, Hibba, and I'm back with another video. Yes, honey, yes. So today's video, as you can see from the title, I am going to be recycling my shoes that I have, right? So I had a video that blew up in the shorts. So I, I posted a short and it blew up and went 8, 11K. It blew up in my in my um little world. It blew up because I never had 11K on a video before. So that was really a plus. So I decided to do, you know, another video like this. I would like to get to know started with this video definitely go subscribe and hit the bell so you can notify when i post all of my videos and yeah let's get started so the materials that i have is a hot glue gun super simple with of course plenty of the glue sticks and of course the shoes that you want to recycle right and of course you want to have plenty of yarn so today I'm using this like creamy yarn, this creamy white yarn for these boots. Um, and I'm just going to like basically line the boots up with this and make it into like some fluffy boots. Um, I don't wear these boots anymore just because they're like dingy and dirty. Um, so I'm going to wipe them down right now with some Clorox wipes. Um... And yeah, just so I can get like, I want to do this because I want to get like a different feel um, for, because I don't have a lot of shoes and a lot of boots and stuff. So putting the, you know, decorating them how I want it will definitely give me different looks and stuff. And plus I made like this um, crochet hoodie. It's like really, really fluffy and this will go perfect with it. Yeah. So you want to find like shoes that you don't really wear that much anymore. Um... So that way you could just like, cause they're definitely, they're really going to look like a totally different shoe once you're done with it. So you definitely want to do that. But yeah, I like them bad boys off. It's definitely getting cold out. Well, it is cold out. I'm not getting cold. It's very cold outside. So these, like, not only like these boots, these boots are warm in itself, but the fluffiness of the yarn would definitely like give it that warmth feeling <laughs> on it with that warmth look i should say that wintry type of vibe oh my scissors so the first thing you want to do is kind of take your yarn and kind of like measure like how you want to put it on and where you want to put it on that how long you want it and stuff like that so you want to get like a kind of a idea of how you're going to put the yarn on there. I think I'm going to go all the way down here to the, like close to this part because it's, it's dirty right here. And I'm not going to wear these a, a whole bunch, probably like twice, two different outfits. And then you can always recycle them like I did my other ones. I had um, on my heels, I had the yarn on for like maybe three shows and two two photo shoots. And I recycled it. I put different, like more, you know, cleaner um, yarn on it. So I took the old yarn off and put new one, new yarn on it. So you can always keep doing that with it. But I think I'm going to do like from here. If you can see from here to the other side. Hot glue gun onto the boot. Not too much, but not, you know, just enough. I feel like some glue on my face. I feel like this. Is... So as y'all can see, it has like a little teeny heel on it. Um, so obviously I'm gonna have to do two different layers as opposed to the one layer in the front. So I'm gonna do one layer at the bottom right here, right? I'm gonna do that one and then I'm gonna do the second layer. Hey, I just found the trick, like something that's super easy, more easy than what I, what I just did. So basically I didn't cut it. I left it on 
you know, the roll. And what I'm doing is just every time I put the um, glue on it, all I'm doing is wrapping it around like this. Duh, right? I wasn't thinking like that. And then I'll cut it at the end once I'm finished, like, with this last one. Just cut it. Yep. All right, so the second layer is going to kind of do, I'm going to basically do the same shape as it is, like a little curl right here. Um, hmm. I'm going to start exactly where I started right here and then go around. Another glue stick. See, this is why you need a lot of glue sticks because um, you'll run out super fast. This, this project definitely takes a lot of glue sticks for sure. So have a lot, at least a bag and a half for this project. Maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit, but have enough just in case. Have a lot. Just in case. Just in case. Just in case I don't make it home tonight. For the last, last time, baby. All right, so... As you can see, it's coming out pretty good. Um, I'm trying to figure out if I should do the top part of the boot go around again, or should I do it like this? Like, should I make the tongue like that too? And however the shoe is shaped, that's how you want to like form the yarn on it. So if it has like, okay, for example, if it has this, you'll want to form the yarn around it. You don't want to like, you know, I guess you, I mean, you can if you want, but I think it comes out better if you form it around the shape of the shoe. And you could do this on any type of shoes you want to do it on. You could do it on sneakers. Like I said, I did it on heels for the first time. Um, and yeah, you can do it on any, literally any kind of shoe. But I think it looks perfect. or I think it looks best on heels. Um, I did it on those clear, like see-through heels. And I just like lined it up around it. I didn't like put the yarn on the whole heel. You can do that. And I think it'll still look cute. Um, just like how I'm doing this, I'm putting it on the whole shoe. Trying something new out, you know. Um, because if I just lined the, this boot up, it wouldn't look right. I would have to like literally do what I'm doing right now. Fill it, fill the whole thing up. It would look tacky if I would have just lined it up. I think since I'm getting closer to the top, I'm going to take the shoe strings out. Because I'm contemplating on if I want to do the tongue or not. Um, let me see. Because it might not look right if I do the tongue. But then it might, it might look right. So for this side, I had to stop right here because it's a zipper right here. And you kind of want to like make sure you don't go too close to the zipper because the yarn can get stuck in the zipper when you're going, when you're zipping it up and down. So I'm trying to cut like as close to the, um, to these stitches, like you see the stitches on the boots to the stitches as opposed to close to the zipper like that. And then you want to skip the zipper and go around and these boots, I don't know. I forget where I got these from. Um, but 
I know they were like super cheap. And I always wanted like some white boots. I always wanted white Tims, but I couldn't um afford the white Tims at the time. So I got these. And they were cute, so. But they were super cheap. I don't know where I got them from, y'all. So can't even tell y'all. Couldn't even tell you. Put them in. I guess it's the same thing. Um. Ooh. Maybe if I hot glue gun it and make it like really at the end. You know how they have the shoestrings? Let's see. If I could like, it's just hot, 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 hot. Oh, ah. What was I thinking? Ow, ow. I thought if I, oh. I thought if it's, if it's out of the hot glue gun, for a little bit for like two seconds it's not as hot what bro what are you talking about man bro i'm out man that nigga's tripping yo what ow look what the heck is wrong with me think hilla think ow i burnt my fingers what the heck All right, so y'all, I found some string that's like similar to a shoestring, but it's a little bit thicker. And um, I just used it as a shoestring for this. And it looks pretty cool. It looks cute. Um, So I'm finished, basically, but I did decide, I think I want to, uh, I don't know, let me see. No, I'm not going to do it. I was going to I was gonna cover up the the zipper because I don't need the zipper to put it on. I could just like, you know, take these off. Um, because I think without the zipper being covered, it looks kind of tacky. I should just do the whole thing. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, um, cover up the zipper and, um, just use the shoestrings, like, to put it on it. I don't, I don't really need the zipper. So, y'all, the shoe is done. It's complete. It's finito. I think that's how you say finished. Cute. Ah, I'm so excited to wear these. Um... I'm probably gonna wear them tomorrow. And I'ma, you know, show y'all a picture. Here's the picture that I'm wearing tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm about to do the other one. I got a whole nother shoe to do. And I'm gonna make a short with that one. After I do this one, I'm gonna go on to the slides. So I'll be back y'all to show y'all the slides. Okay guys, so I am finished my boots. They're all done. You look so nice. Now I'm about to do my flip flops or my slippers. Um, even though it's winter time right now, I can still wear these like inside the house and everything like that. Um, I don't have any like pink fluffy yarn, but I might. Let me see. I was either going to like use some regular pink yarn and like crochet this shape and like just paste it, put it on there or I was going to use the white yarn as well and do it but I didn't know like how it was going to look So this is how it should look for the ending results. So I decided not to put the yarn in the inside because you really can't see that, like if you have your foot in it, you're not gonna be able to see that it's pink. So and even if you did, it still looks cute like this. Um, but it reminds me of like a Ugg slipper or something like that, just like open toe, you know? Um, like um, the furriness of it and stuff is really like super soft and fluffy. I'm um, about to do the next, the second one, and then I'm going to show y'all with um, me with these on and with these on, or my little sister, I don't know, one of us. So, um, yeah, I'll get back with y'all. Okay, y'all, so I'm 
Okay, guys, so I finished both of the slides. They look so cute. And the boots. So that completes the video. I just wanted to show y'all, you know, um, what I do when I recycle my shoes. I add a little yarn to it, a little jazz. Maybe on the ends, I might add like some jewels or something. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's definitely winter attire. And um it'll look cute with your jackets look cute with your coats your hats your matching scarves and stuff like that definitely go subscribe real quick and hit the bell so you can notify when i post all of my videos see you in my next video bye